The Isle of Man's public sector employees benefit from pension schemes to ensure a secure retirement. Whilst on the journey to retirement, on average, members pay 7.5% of their pay towards their pension, and their employer pays in an additional 15%. So, every year, 22.5% of their yearly pay is being put towards their pension. A public sector employee can start accessing their pension when they retire. If there's one thing that's constant in life, it's change. Wages change, rates of inflation change, the costs of goods and services change, and importantly, the membership of the scheme will change over time. There are ill health retirements, and people come and go. Every six years, the Isle of Man government reviews how the cost of providing pensions has changed over that time period. That way, they can calculate how to plan for pension costs in the upcoming six years. The next cost-sharing review will cover the period from March 2016 to March 2022. If the costs over the last six years were lower than expected, then there might be reductions in the amount of money employees and employers need to contribute, or a slight increase in pension earned. If the costs were higher than expected, contribution amounts may need to be increased, or a decrease in pensions earned. If there were overall savings, say 1.5% of pay, those savings are split between the employee and employer, with the employee getting 75% of the savings and the employer getting 25%. If there were overall higher costs, contributions and future pension earnings may be adjusted accordingly within that time period. Please note, cost sharing is not a way of addressing the pension system's legacy debt or requiring those who historically may have paid more to bolster those who may have paid less. We will be keeping all public sector employees updated on the outcome of this upcoming cost-sharing analysis period. To learn more, visit www.pspa.im or contact pensions at pspa.im.